Ripple, a leading cryptocurrency payment company, has released a new report emphasizing its strategic focus on penetrating the IT market. By the way, we will also be looking at the striking correlation between the XRP buybacks by Ripple and the cryptocurrency's price movements. Not only that, following a recent revelation, is XRP on its way to hit the 70 cents mark? Finally, recent XRP inflation data has suggested the reasons behind the XRP's price underperformance compared to others like Solana and Ethereum. However, are the reasons due to low demand and not inflation triggered by Ripple sales? Stick with me till the end to find out more. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of participating, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP, and the winner will be announced on the 15th of January. According to the report, the global expenditure on IT services is anticipated to hit $1.5 trillion in 2024. The American crypto-focused firm seeks to corner a significant chunk of this expenditure through its enterprise payment solution, Ripple Payments. Ripple cited the unfolding situation in the IT space, where companies explore international expansion to leverage a broader workforce. However, it argued that for many enterprises, the challenge lies in managing payroll and vendor payments across a global network. Ripple cited Yogesh Sengal, head of Instarum, who emphasized IT businesses' challenges while operating across 40 diverse geographies. The expectation for these businesses is to conduct operations round the clock, regardless of time zones, bank cutoff hours, or holidays. The challenge results from the tech firms relying on costly, sluggish transactions from outdated payment systems. In response to the issues, Ripple has released a comprehensive guide addressing how international IT service providers can harness cryptocurrencies to overcome payment obstacles. The handbook outlines the advantages of crypto payments and Ripple's enterprise payment solution. The firm noted that these blockchain-powered solutions facilitate bridging two currencies within three seconds while maintaining a fixed foreign exchange rate. Furthermore, Ripple cited that 97% of payment leaders see cryptocurrencies significantly facilitating faster payments in the coming three years. Ripple mentioned that its enterprise payment solution grants IT service providers the flexibility to make real-time payments to suppliers, vendors, or employees worldwide. Moreover, it noted that Ripple Payments eliminates the need for pre-funding. As a result, IT service providers can redirect previously tied up capital into other business areas, fostering increased financial flexibility and efficiency. Besides, Ripple claims to simplify the integration process even for businesses unfamiliar with blockchain technology. It stated companies can incorporate Ripple Payments into their existing payment infrastructure using a single, user-friendly API. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. It bears mentioning that XRP often records inexplicable price surges on occasion. In a recent post on X, Mr. Huber claims that Ripple's buybacks are the main driver of these sudden and massive price surges, which are then followed by gradual declines. According to the industry commentator, XRP experiences rapid and unexplained price spikes ranging from 30% to 100% every few months. He says that these spikes are almost always synchronized with Ripple's buybacks of XRP on the open market. Ripple has been purchasing XRP from the open market for business purposes, while they sell XRP to institutions for ODL, now Ripple Payments. For instance, in their Q4 2022 report, the firm confirmed that they purchased $2.7 billion worth of XRP in the fourth quarter of 2022. However, their ODL-related sales, coming in at $2.9 billion, exceeded these purchases. Ripple stopped reporting on their XRP buybacks from Q2 2023 and instead stuck with disclosures concerning their XRP holdings, including the assets and escrow wallets. Mr. Huber explains that Ripple's buybacks have a significant impact on XRP's price, claiming that a net purchase of $100 million within one or two days could trigger a 50% price increase. He also estimates that a 20x price growth for XRP from its current level would require a net purchase of $6 billion. 
The industry pundit based this estimate on the volume of the XRP bull run in the 2017-2018 cycle. Mr. Huber's disclosure sparked a discussion within the community. Mark, a crypto researcher and investor, asked why Ripple was accumulating more XRP instead of just distributing its holdings. He stressed that he preferred to see Ripple own less XRP, not more. Interestingly, David Schwartz, Ripple's CTO, holds the same sentiment. Schwartz revealed last April that Ripple cannot do anything else with the XRP it holds other than sell it, confirming that it is better for the firm to hold less XRP. Responding to Mark's question, Mr. Huber emphasized the transparency in Ripple's operations, which is why he was able to discover the correlation. He argued that Ripple's buybacks were beneficial for XRP holders. According to him, if Ripple needs XRP, it would be better for them to purchase on the open market for liquidity reasons. While Mr. Huber's theory seems to match XRP's price action, the estimates appear somewhat exaggerated, as the XRP chart does not show such drastic price changes. In addition, other factors also influence XRP's price, such as market sentiment and regulatory developments. Furthermore, XRP's latest price action was quite unexpected considering the nature of the market in the first days after the holiday season. A detailed look at the chart reveals that the XRP and USDT chart is on the point of a potentially significant move. XRP's price is currently positioned at the tail end of a descending triangle, a technical chart pattern that traders often associate with the continuation of the prior trend. However, in this instance, XRP has made an unexpected maneuver, breaking through the upper boundary of the descending triangle. This move could be interpreted as a bullish signal, suggesting a change in market sentiment and possibly providing the impetus for a climb toward the 70 cents mark. At present, XRP is trading above its moving averages, which is a positive sign for bulls. The 50-day moving average has served as a dynamic support, buoying the price on recent pullbacks. The relative strength index is hovering in the middle ground, suggesting that there is room for upward price movement before the asset becomes overbought. On the other side of the market, Ethereum has also approached a local resistance level. A break above such a level for Ethereum could have a cascading effect, energizing other altcoins, including XRP. Now to our big question for the day, why has XRP's price underperformed compared to others like Solana and Ethereum? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Mr. Huber, a prominent on-chain sleuth, highlighted this in a recent disclosure on X, where he shared data on XRP's inflation rate since 2015. It bears mentioning that XRP's inflation solely comes from Ripple's escrow unlocks and subsequent sales and distribution. Notably, Ripple releases 1 billion XRP from its escrow wallet every month instead of unlocking everything into the market at once. According to a December 2017 document, the firm leverages this approach to help maintain stability in the XRP market as a large-scale dump could damage the market. At first, Ripple planned to release 1 billion XRP over 55 months starting in 2017. An update on this timeline indicates that Ripple could empty the escrow over the next 42 months. However, this could take longer as the company often locks back 800 million XRP after each escrow release. Meanwhile, amid XRP's recent underperformance in comparison to other notable assets, such as Solana and Ethereum, theories have emerged on the cause of the token's poor performance. One of these theories points to Ripple's escrow unlocks. Some market participants have argued that XRP has performed poorly due to the selling pressure that Ripple's XRP unlocks trigger. As Ripple unlocks more XRP every month, the practice contributes to the inflation of crypto assets every year. However, Mr. Huber has dismissed the claims that XRP's underperformance is a product of this inflation. He shared data comparing the token's annual inflation rate with Solana's. XRP's annual inflation has averaged 6.4% over the past nine years, with last year's inflation sitting at 6.4%. Conversely, Ethereum's inflation rate since 2017 has averaged 3.6%, with a deflationary trend recorded last year due to the merge and the burns involving transaction fees. Meanwhile, Solana has an average inflation rate of 16.3% over the last three years, much higher than XRP's inflation. Notably, Solana has no supply cap. Industry veterans such as Mardini, CEO of WeaveDB, have claimed the Solana Foundation subsidizes $100 million in transaction fees each month, contributing to the inflation. 
Yet, despite Solana's high inflation rate, the token has outperformed both Ethereum and XRP since last October, when the recent market-wide upsurge began. Solana is up 445% over the past three months. In contrast, XRP has risen by a meager 23.5%, while Ethereum is up 41%. Taking these metrics into consideration, Mr. Huber stressed that XRP has not underperformed due to its inflation, but due to a lack of demand. Conversely, Solana has appreciated massively as a result of an impressive surge in demand, which has exceeded its inflation rate. To add more weight, he called attention to Ethereum's price action since the merge. Notably, the merge has made Ethereum deflationary, but its price action has not reacted more favorably. The merge occurred in September 2022, but Ethereum is only up 44% since then. Meanwhile, XRP is up 85% since then. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section. Make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.